Petra Velsebor is a mental health consultant, executive coach, psychotherapist, and of course, also a podcast host, growing up with no education inside a religious cult. Wow. Welcome, Petra. Welcome. Stand up if mental health has impacted your life in some way. We sort of have a monthly call because we're all remote, right? And our first question is always, how's your mental health been this month? And I have to start, so I lead by example in talking about my mental health, and I'm normalizing the conversation about good mental health. Previously, our fight or flight response came in when predators were at us. Nowadays, our fight or flight response comes in when we get a, you know, a terrorist attack on the other side of the world and we're essentially safe. We can't fix other people, we can only fix ourselves. And I don't want to imply that we're broken, I don't mean it like that. I just mean we can only work on ourselves in order to evolve and reach our full potential. And I believe that it's very important for us to lead by example in being vulnerable and brave and telling our stories so that we give permission to other people to do the same. So I was born into and raised in the infamous Children of God cult. People in my generation who were raised the way I was felt trapped in their own minds even though they left and were never able to come to terms with the things that had happened. I had to learn that the absolute hard way, that being visible and authentic about who we are is probably the single biggest that can make a difference in our lives. But what's interesting and the reason I show this picture is because this actually isn't the picture that captures when I wanted to end my own life. This is. Isn't it interesting when we put the most effort into being okay and acting like absolutely nothing is wrong with us that actually our world might be crumbling underneath. And I realized the more I can align into one whole person and be the same person who is just me, no matter where I am, and get over the fear of uh, being judged for that, and know that if you're not into you know, what I have to offer, that's cool. There are seven billion people in the world. So, so people want to connect, they want to be open, they don't want the false fronts of this is my work mask and this is my home mask and you know, where am I when I'm just, on, who, who, where can I ever be myself? They're, they're really searching for that and more and more people are showing up in that way and I think it's quite exciting and mental health is just part of that, it's the next frontier. Ask yourself the difficult questions and see who you're showing up as in the world. because when it's stored inside you, it comes out in some way. Whether that's panic attack, burnout, whatever that looks like, aggression, you know, it comes, it will come out in some way. So knowing that just means that you can diffuse the bomb well before it goes off if you connect and talk to somebody. 